Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to take our Gulp series a little bit further. Now, in the last video, we created a couple of tasks. Uh, if you'll notice, though, we ran our command uh, gulp once, and it ran through the tasks once. Well, that's not necessarily ideal if you're compiling SAS or writing JavaScript in general and want it to, to build all of the time. So what we have is a watch command. And now the watch function is going to allow us to watch certain files. And then we can run specific tasks based on what happens when those files are changed. So you can set up a watch on JavaScript itself so that JavaScript runs the JavaScript task every single time you save your file, or perhaps you compile your SAS into CSS every single time you save your CSS file. So we're gonna get into that right now. So to get started, we're going to make a new task. Now, like with any other task we have, we just have to create that by uh, calling gulp.task, and now we can give it a name. Now, an appropriate name seems like it would be watch, because we're gonna be watching our files. Um, and we're going to have a callback here like we've been doing. Okay. So now, inside of our watch task, Let's give this some space here. We can say uh, watch task and it watches JS. So in this particular example, we're going to be watching JavaScript and we're going to be uh, running our scripts task every single time a JS file has been saved. So how we can do that is by using the built-in watch method. So inside of our gulp task here, we can type gulp.watch. And now we're going to pass it the string of what type of files we're going to be watching or the directory of those files. So what we can say here is the same exact path that we were watching in our scripts to build, we can say watch those same exact files. Uh, let's see. So we're saying watch any file with the extension of .js within our JS folder. Now you could likewise just say asterisk, uh, we could do it like this, and it's gonna look for any file with .js. However, we want this to be just these specific JavaScript files. Okay, so now we're running our watch command. Now we need to tell it watch what to do after it sees a change. So we're gonna put a comma, and then after the comma, we're going to be passing in an array of what tasks we want to now run. So in quotes, we're going to say scripts, okay, like that. And now let's finish it all off with a semicolon. So in this gulp watch command to reiterate, we're watching all of our JavaScript files within this JS folder. And then once we're done, we're going to be running this scripts task. So notice how the watch task, all it does is it looks for a change and then it, it just pushes onto something else. It's like, oh, you changed? Okay, let me do something. And that something is running the scripts. Cool, so let's go ahead and run gulp.watch now. So in our command line, we can type gulp watch, and that's going to run our watch task. Okay, so you'll notice that it says starting watch and it finished it. However, we still, it, it hasn't taken us back to our command, so gulp is still running. So let's go ahead and save and modify a our main.js file. I'm just gonna remove a line here and hit save. Now let's come check out our terminal. And you can see what's happened is that it says it's starting our scripts and then finishing our scripts. And likewise, if I make another change, uh, let's do this at a comment, um, just like that. Um, this is just an example here. We can come back and you see it's changed again. So this is like what you'd be used to if you're using the SAS watch command or something like that, where it watches for a change and then does something on that change. Cool, so how can we make this better? Oh, we don't wanna always just run watch. Let's actually make watch part of our default. So let's come to our gulp file 
And now what we want to do is we want to run gulp.watch at the end of our initial gulp default task. So to do that, all we have to do is in this array down here, add a comma and then watch. So now what's gonna happen is anytime we run gulp, the first thing it's going to do is compile our scripts, then compile our styles, and then it's going to watch JavaScript to make sure that we haven't changed anything. And if it does, it's going to rebuild that JavaScript every single time we make a save. That way we don't have to worry about running this command ever. If you make an adjustment, you'll know that the minified version is always going to be the latest version. Also, this is going to be the strategy we're going to use to run SAS within Gulp. Cool, so now we can stop this and to illustrate this, we can just type Gulp. And now you can see it's run our scripts, it's run our styles, and now it's run our watch. And likewise, if we make any changes to our JavaScript, our main.js, come back, you can see it's once again run our scripts task. Okay, so now we've started to build out this nice, robust uh, gulp file, but we still have lots more to do. So in the next video, we're gonna show you how to compile SAS within gulp. And then from there, we're going to keep on building upon this to keep adding more and more useful things until you can't believe how you ever lived without something like Gulp. So check it out. We're going to keep that going in the next video. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or anywhere. We love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.